welcome back to our channel this video will going to discuss about the types of fractions now already introduction of fractions completed okay i'll show you the description lo a link is done okay so ready now discuss about a types of fractions now first of all decimal fractions decimal fractions means the denominator are either 10 or multiples of 10 means 10 into 10 100 into 10 means 1000 so on so this type of fractions are called decimal fractions so for example 7 by 10 this is a multiple of 10 suppose 15 by 100 so this is also decimal fraction now suppose 357 by 10,000 this one also decimal fractions now second one algebraic fractions algebraic fractions means either numerator or denominator or both or has a algebraic expressions means literal numbers suppose take numerator 5 denominator means x plus 2 so this is in algebraic fraction suppose the numerator will be 2x minus 3 where denominator will be 7 this one also algebraic fraction suppose given 4x plus 7 by 3x minus 8 so numerator algebraic expression denominator also algebraic expression that's why this type of fractions are called algebraic fractions now discuss about a continued fractions continued fractions means 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 so like this this type of fractions are called continued fractions otherwise take 5 plus 7 by 1 plus 2 by 8 so this type of fractions are also called as a continued fractions man already it one continued fractions cause simple tricks how to solve anything man discuss chesam kaavante ganaka without pen and paper shortcuts tricks lo meer shortcuts unde okka sari playlist open chesi without pen and paper shortcuts tricks unde okka sari chuste ganaka with shortcuts discuss chesam so mundu mundu man inko sariku mari discuss chandam now discuss about a like fractions fractions which are having the same denominators are called like fractions suppose 5 by 7 2 by 7 3 by 7 14 by 7 so this type of fractions are called like fractions because same denominators are there suppose fractions which are not having the same denominators then the fractions are called unlike fractions suppose 5 by 7 8 by 9 13 by 12 so this type of fractions are called unlike fractions next one proper fractions and improper fractions proper fractions means a fraction whose numerator is less than the denominator is called a proper fraction suppose take 2 2 by 5 here numerator is 2 and denominator is 5 that's why 2 is less than 5 so this fraction is called a proper fraction suppose 7 by 10 7 by 10 also 7 is less than the 10 that's it is a proper fraction suppose given only 0 only 0 also write as 0 by any number don't write denominate 0 that's a 0 by any number but here 0 is always less than the any number that's why it is also proper fraction so only zero also belongs to the proper fraction so here the important property will be the value of each proper fraction will be less than one next so children the numerator less than the denominator and take a numerator me denominator the division chase of the compulsory value and easy one account a less source that's me the value of proper fraction always less than one now take improper fraction improper fraction means the numerator is greater than the denominator suppose take 15 15 by 2 so 15 is more than 2 that's it is a improper fraction 
suppose 17 by 3 this is also improper fraction but 17 by 3 is more than 1 that's why the improper fraction value is always more than 1 and also equal suppose take 5 by 5 5 by 5 means 1 this one also belongs to improper fraction that's why the value of improper fraction is always greater than or equal to 1 this is the value of improper fraction but value of proper fraction is always less than 1 now check applications of proper and improper fractions just check for applications here fill up the blanks with either greater than less than or equal to suppose here 1 by 2 the numerator is less than the denominator that's it is a proper fraction the proper fraction value is always less than 1 that's why here less than 1 here 1 6 by 7 here 6 is less than the 7 that's it this one also proper fraction the value of proper fraction is always less than 1 that's in this case the 1 is a more than 6 by 7 that's a 1 greater than 6 by 7 here 6 by 6 6 by 6 number and denominator both are equal in this case it is a improper fraction improper fraction value is either equal to 1 or more than 1 but 6 by 6 by value 1 that's why it is both are equal now take 11 by 5 11 by 5 means 11 is more than 5 so it is improper fraction the value of improper fraction is always either 1 or more than 1. That's mean here 11 by 5 is more than 1. So 11 by 5 is greater than 1. Now discuss about a mixed fractions. Mixed fraction means a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. It is called a mixed fraction. Suppose here 2 is a whole number. Next 1 by 3 is a proper fraction because the numerator is less than the denominator. That's a 2 1 by 3 is called a mixed fraction. Here 4 is a whole number and 5 by 7 is a proper fraction because the 5 is less than 7. That's a 4 and 5 by 7 is a mixed fraction. Next one 5 is a whole number and 9 by 11. 9 is less than the 11. It is a proper fraction. So whole number and proper fraction nothing but a mixed fraction. That's why this 5 and 9 by 11 is a mixed fraction. Here this number is read as 4 and 5 by 7, 5 and 9 by 11, 2 and 1 by 3. Now discuss about a conversion of a mixed fraction into improper and improper fraction converted into mixed fraction. Now take the conversion of a mixed fraction into improper. Suppose take 2 and 1 by 3. 2 and 1 by 3 is an improper fraction. 2 and 1 by 3 means 2 plus 1 by 3. 2 and 1 by 3 means 2 plus 1 by 3. Now take here 3 LCM. 3 2 is a 6. That's why 2 into 3 plus 1. So 3 2 is a 6. 6 plus 1 equal to 7 by 3. That's why 7 by 3. So 2 1 by 3 means 2 plus 1 by 3. You know, plus in the case 7 to monogram. Fractions it's in chess it up shortcut a chip then a shortcut chapel and a gun. You can have 2 1 by 3 means 2 plus 1 by 3 is a single material. That's why 2 1 by 3 means 2 plus 1 by 3. So this is a mixed fraction. This mixed fraction value will be 7 by 3 in the improper fraction. Suppose given 5 and 7 by 10. So this one also 5 7 by 10 is a mixed fraction. Simply 5 into 10. 5 into 10 means 50. 50 plus 7 means 57 by 10. This one also improper fraction. So the improper fraction value of 5 7 by 10 will be 50 7 by 10. Now improper fractions converted into mixed fractions. In this case the numerator is divided by the denominator. Here what is the denominator? 20. How many times? 5 20 is 100. So the remainder will be 17. That's why in this case first of all write this 5. 5 quotient 
next one will be remainder 17 by here divisor means 20 so 20 20 both are equal so quotient will be first of all write 5 the remainder will be in the numerator 5 and 17 by 20 now here 62 by 7 now here the numerator 62 is divided by the denominator 7 how many 7s 8 7s 56 the remainder will be 6 that's why here 62 by 7 is an improper fraction that mixed fraction will be first of all write 8 the numerator will be 6 by denominator will be 7 that's why here 8 6 by 7 will be the mixed fraction of a improper fraction 62 by 7